All right, guys, I'm working on my furnace in my attic. And uh, according to HVAC school, which HVACRschool.com, the plenium is all wrong on my furnace in the attic. Um, I have one plenium box. It's 24 inches by 20. Plenium box is this thing that comes off where it blows the air out. I only have one, okay? And this is uh, for 1,360 square feet. So we got one box. I got my uh, ducts coming off here on both sides. And I actually have one duct, com one duct coming off the end. Now, you're not supposed to have any ducts off the end. The reason for that is if you blow through a straw, all the air will come out at the end first before it comes out the sides. And that's essentially what happens in the heating uh, duct system. So it's wrong. I have to redo it. So Home Depot sells... A 48 by 36 inch sheet metal so I gotta buy a couple of those so I can create a new box a 24 inch box and they saw some smaller 16 by 8 boxes pre-built that I already bought two of those for the end so let me show you what I'm gonna be doing to correct the issues that I got and uh, let me show you a picture of a diagram of how it should be done okay so if you have a heater and you don't and you look at it and this is where the, the fan blows out from here. It goes this way. This is your uh, return air. So the fan blows this way, and then the air comes out from here. Now, if you're a novice and you don't know nothing about HVAC, this is, this is what I'm, I'm talking to people like that. Uh, people that don't know nothing. This is the basics, okay? So the heater air blows out through here, and it goes into your duct work, and then it blows out your lines, either if they're metal or flex duct, okay? So if you look at your heater and you see you have one plenium box and everything's shooting out of it, that's not a properly done system. And that's what I have. I have two ducts shooting out from the sides, two on the other side, and one at the end. And they're all six inch ducts and all the rooms are not the same size. So that's definitely wrong. You need to have the duct size going to each room according to how much CFM it needs for that particular size room. Okay. Another thing is you want to have 24 at least off of this main um, plenium box with nothing on it. Then you can go to your duct um, pipes after that. Uh, anything less, you, uh, there's a pressure loss, uh, pressure loss that you'll have and all the air. What happens, okay, let me try to ex explain it in layman terms. Uh, this air comes out with a high velocity and if you have your ducts here right off on the plenium right away, what happens is that fast air goes flying through here and it kind of passes those ducts. And then it hits the back, it'll hit the back of the plenium box. But if, if you don't have really a back and you have a hose at the end, there's no pressure. It just kind of shoots through the system all at once. And so these pipes back here don't get pressurized and they just kind of get very little air out of them and that's what's going on my on in my system it's just poorly done so what I'm gonna do is go to Home Depot buy some sheet metal I'm gonna create a whole different system um, also let me tell you some tips that I've learned uh, from the from the tech website uh, HVAC uh, you don't want to have like if you don't have a staggered it's okay like see this one's all one I know most people say to stagger them, but if you got a stagger and it's within 12 inches, it's not good either because it's not enough room to pressurize the system as well. This should be a minimum of 18 inches staggered on center. And then when you go from a, a big duct to a smaller duct, a transition, you don't want to have any of your ducts within, uh, like this is 12 inches, is no good. It should be a minimum of 18 inches away from this transition line here. And that's because again, this is going to be coming out even faster. The velocity is speeding up as it goes through the smaller area. And then it shoots past that, that vent. You're not going to get the same flow out of this one as you do this one. Okay. And uh, also, last but not least, you're going to have 24 inches at the end of your, your... And this is where most systems fail. They don't leave 24 inches at the end of the system for your pressure. So you'll see a lot of systems will put the, the hose like within a, a foot or so. And so the air comes blowing down and it hits that vent and it just shoots out more air at the end. So we don't want that. 
So this is what I'm going to do on my system here. Of course, my heater up in the attic, it's not got an elbow on it. It just, this part of the heater is over here on this side. And so I've changed, I've created my own system of what I want to do. So right now I just have a 24 inch box here. So I'm going to take that out and I'm going to create another 24 inch box. And this will be it here with no ducts coming off it, no, no uh, supply lines coming off here. Okay. And then the, the box that I had here will go on the second box. Okay. And I'm going to have to replace the sides because there's a bunch of holes in it in the wrong place. They have the supplies too close to each other. They have like, it's like 12 inches on center or eight inches. That's too close. So I'm going to run two eight inches lines going across parallel going across. It's going to be a little bit higher because I need to have the six inch down here and I need 18 inches on center. If I put it in the center, it's going to only be like 14 inches on center. So I'm going to have one low and one high. Okay. And then I'm going to have three supply runs, maybe four. I might have another six inch on the other side, but I'm not sure yet. And then on the next one, I'm going down to 16 by eight from the 20 by 24. And that's a pre-built uh, box that you can buy at Home Depot. Kind of expensive. I think it was like 60 bucks for the two halves. Uh, it's like 30 bucks a half. They don't sell it as one piece. You have to kind of build it. And then uh, I'm going to be adding that to my system. And there's only enough room on that because you got to leave 24 inches at the end to put two lines. Because I need to have 18 to 20, 24 inches from a transition on center. Okay. So that's my system. I think this is going to work a lot better than just all the branches coming off one plenium box. Uh, this is going to be two, four, maybe five to six uh, vents, and it's going to be about what, two, four, six, eight, eight foot long. So before it was only two foot long, this is going to be eight foot long. And then also I'll be wrapping it with uh, some insulated uh, insulation made for ducks. It's kind of pricey. It's about eighty bucks for. Uh, uh, I think it was 30 square foot roll or 60 square foot roll at Home Depot but it really needs it because it's in an attic with that's not finished so it gets cold up there and you don't want heat loss every time you don't want it the system every time it turns on to blow super cold air at you and then you have to wait for it to heat up you know that that sucks when it does that so by putting insulation over it it'll help keep that warmth in but yeah that's that's it for the system I'll, I'll make another video of of how it looks after I build it and I'll post it on YouTube but this is what I'm this is the plans of what I'm gonna be doing so that's it for this video guys hope that helps anybody that's uh, looking into uh, their HVAC system and seeing if it's done right